Welcome to another Bumpai video and my name is Art and today we have another manga reading video and manga reading basically means we're going to flip through the pages of this manga, try to find cars, identify them, find the model, find the trim, whatever. So basically car spotting inside manga. Um, today's episode will all be about this uh, Restore Garage 251 manga about the Nissan Cherry X1R but it's not only limited to a Honda N3. 60. Also some of you made uh, very good suggestions in the previous video uh, what I should read next. I've ordered a bunch of them but they're still on their way from Japan so that's why I'm uh, uh, doing the Restore Garage anyway. So this episode as I said earlier uh, it has uh, two storylines. It's about the Nissan Cherry X1R, that's the first story and then we have the Honda N360. Let's see if we can find stuff in here. Uh, the Cherry X1R is basically about golf course, golfing. Um, you can see that there's a Sephora Open Golf Tournament. Uh, I kind of grasp that uh, Restore Garage 251 is in Sapporo, so that's Hokkaido. We can see a couple of cars here, but I really have difficulty identifying some of them because, well, the quality of the drawings isn't uh, what I'm used to. There are a couple of cars that I can probably identify as uh, a, a Nissan Precedent. Uh, we have probably an Alford here, but it could also be the BMW uh, X Series over here. And we have a Volkswagen Golf. Uh, and over here, I'm not entirely sure because it could be a Celica. So it's really difficult to tell. Um, next page is really, really easy to guess. That's uh, uh, Bentley Arnage uh, or Carnage. <laughs> He's making a Carnage out of it. Uh, yeah, some Jacuzza boss uh, is getting upset about his car being scratched. Uh, and then basically, uh, yeah, they're, they're playing golf to uh, uh, make everything right. I don't know how that storyline goes, but, you know, uh, they take the prize and they see themselves entitled to get the Nissan Cherry X1R. However, uh, they're trying to nick it uh, even before the whole uh, tournament is over. Um, yeah, the, the X1R is almost nicked by those uh, uh, yeah, Yakuza gang. Uh, they continue, there's some story about his past, about his daddy, uh, and his daddy is uh, coaching him. And of course, you probably would have guessed it already, because his father used to drive one of those. X1Rs. You can see him here imagining it uh, being a ball being uh, slashed through the fields. Uh, not too many cars to identify in this episode because it's uh, mostly about this uh, golf course. And then of course he finally wins the tournament and uh, our uh, protagonist is standing next to the X1R just like his dad did. And he's really, really happy, tears in his eyes, and oh my god, it's just like my daddy. And that's about the end of the whole golf uh, story. Um, and obviously he gets the X1R. Um, in the next story, that's about the, the Honda N360, we can see a couple of things here in this junkyard. At the top we have a Honda Civic 1st Gen and also there a 1st Gen Honda Civic. Uh, then we have probably a Nissan Fairlady S30 over here, I'm not 100% sure about that. Subaru 360, Nissan Skyline C110, uh, that's a sedan, 4-door sedan. Uh, Honda Step Van. Mitsubishi Jeep, probably a Mitsubishi Lancer or Gallant, I'm not entirely sure about that one though. Uh, at the bottom row we have here a Mitsubishi Minica second generation that we can identify. And here is another take on a Nissan Skyline C110 sedan. All the others are a bit too vague to identify, but this is a lot better than uh, at the golf course. Uh, on the next page we have a Honda 
N360 two times. And we also have something that looks like a Carina TA17, at least the taillights look like that. But the shape looks more like a Chaser X30. Could this be maybe a modified car by some, uh, you know, a Zokusha or whatever? Uh, on the other page we uh, can identify a Mitsubishi Fuso Cantor, that's their truck hauling the N360. And then on the next page you can see a car that we can identify on this page a little bit better, that's a Toyota Crown Comfort, it's a taxi. Uh, we also have a Suzuki Carry or Every Truck probably a Suzuki Carry uh, van and over here looks something like a Supra A70. The story continues about some guy remembering uh, his old 360 uh, and of course he had to sell the car because he got kids. He got like uh, not uh, uh, twins, not triplets, but he got, uh, what's it called? Quadrats? <laughs> he got four kids at the same time. Uh, that's hilarious. Some guy's laughing at him. Uh, then we get a lot of storyline about his kids playing... Uh, uh, that's Mahjong, I guess. So they're Mahjong players and they get into trouble because some, uh, you know, someone is play playing not that fair. And of course they lose a lot of money and uh, this guy, uh, the owner of the garage, is helping them out. And they have to pay uh, to him or something similar and then in the end they uh, are obliged to work on the N360. So that's basically uh, telling you a bit of the storyline. Um, continuing some other Jakuza boss uh, looking at the 360 uh, over here there is I think it's a picture of someone buying a Honda S800M, that's the Mark II of the S800. And you can tell that by the side markers that were added for the US exports. Continuing, we have uh, the N360, a lot of storyline. This car looks like it's uh, either a Bluebird, uh, C30 or a Nissan Skyline C10. Uh, not entirely sure because it's only a headlight. Um, and then continuing a lot of storyline, a lot of crying again uh, about all the babies and in the end we have a Nissan Skyline C10. It's a long-nosed one so it, it's probably a GT trim um, but which one it is, GTX or uh, whether it's a GTR, that's not really sure. It's also because I can't see the remaining stuff of the car. Uh, more stuff about those kids, they're, they're having to work on the car uh, and they actually make things worse. Then one of those kids remembers sitting inside the driver's seat with his dad and then he, uh, yeah, you know, he, he's going to be very, Happy. Um, more uh, some some other archive thing. Uh, that's a, a Subaru 360. It's telling you a little bit of history about the 360. Uh, this 360 uh, K cars. Um, yeah, we have a lot of uh, more pictures of the 360 and 360 here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is like a landmark in Japan, uh, maybe from the Osaka Expo, uh, but I wouldn't know. It's uh, but he's definitely loving that uh, N 360. Then on the next page, he it turns out that this this father actually was racing this N360. Uh, in the back there's a, um, uh, another car and I'm not sure which car it is, but it looks like a, uh, the, 
the, the rear section looks like from a uh, Isuzu uh, Ballet or a Bellel. No, Bellel uh, can't be. So, Isuzu Ballet or maybe a Florian, but the tail lights do not match. Uh, the shape of the car itself looks more like a Skyline, but it isn't because the last part is not the same. And then uh, we also have a small triangular thingy here that looks like a Carina thing. So it's a bit of a weird car, uh, probably just a backdrop that was made up. And that's about it, what I can show you of uh, Restore Garage. This really has a nice uh, look and feel uh, for the manga. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this episode of Manga Reading as much as I did. Uh, hopefully in the next episode I'll have uh, some stuff coming from Japan, more mangas that we can read, uh, well, your choices obviously. Uh, also if you still have something you want to suggest that I should definitely read and identify cars in, it could be like a, I don't know, a GTO uh, or uh, maybe a very stupid manga about girly things but a lot of nicely drawn cars in it, just let me know in the comments below. Right, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.